This is question number 20, 2006 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1. And we are told a bus left Mombasa and traveled towards Nairobi at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. After two and a half hours, a car left Mombasa and traveled along the same road at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour. If the distance between Mombasa and Nairobi is 500 kilometers, determine a, Roman number one, the distance of the bus from Nairobi when the car took off, two and a half, uh, two, two marks. Roman number two, the distance the car traveled to catch up with the bus, you get four marks. Part B, immediately the car caught up with the bus, the car stopped for 25 minutes. Find the new average speed at which the car traveled in order to reach Nairobi at the same time as the bus. So this is a second two question. I uh, should uh, add up to 10 marks. So if you get all the questions here, you should get 2 marks, 10 marks rather. So we start with part A. We are told to find the distance of the bus from Nairobi when the car took off. So what I normally do to be able to work out this question or this kind of question very comfortably, I make a sketch of uh, what, I'm, uh, what the, the information given. So I'll make a line. So this is Mombasa and this is Nairobi. It is 500 kilometers apart. That's the information is given. Then here we have a bus. The bus is traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, it, 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 by the time it started, uh, uh, the car started the journey, it had traveled for a time of uh, two and a half hours. So we have our car here. The car is traveling at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. So that is the information given. Now, uh, we are required to find the distance of the bus from Nairobi when the car took off. So let's say that distance uh, is uh, y. That is the distance from Nairobi to where the bus was when the car started the journey, we call it y. So it means the remaining journey here will be, since the total is a 500, it is 500 minus y, the distance uh, that we are looking for. Uh, so what it means is that we need to find uh, the distance covered by the, 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 the bus. Now, the, uh, for us to be able to get the, the distance, what we need to do is uh, we say distance we normally, okay, we have uh, speed is equals to distance over time. So for you to calculate the distance, we say distance is equals to speed multiplied by time. Uh, so we, we say, uh, we say 500 is the distance, 500, that is, uh, let's correct that, 500 uh, minus y is the distance covered, is equals to, the speed of the bus is 60 kilometers per hour you multiply by time which is two and a half we can write it as 2.5 so you find that uh, 500 minus y use your calculator to get this you get it is 150 so you bring y to this side becomes positive and uh, 150 to the other side becomes negative so y is equals to 500 minus 150 and this will give you 150 kilometers uh, not 150 kilometers but uh, this is uh, 350 uh, kilometers so that is the distance uh, from Nairobi to where the bus was by the time the car started uh, the journey two and a half hours after now we go to part B so this is part A uh, we go to part B of this question. So we say the distance the car traveled to catch up with the bus. Uh, so we can come and say here, uh, this is, uh, let's say the distance, this that distance be x. That is the, the place, uh, the distance the car traveled to catch up with the bus. Uh, so we can say, since the distance from here to here is we have already found it is 150, then we can uh, simply say the distance 
here where the bus was by uh, the time it uh, was uh, two and a half hours to the where it the car caught up with it uh, we say it is x minus 150 okay so we can say the time the bus took to to travel uh, that is the uh, the time the car took to travel that distance will be x that is distance divided by speed uh, which is uh, we can say 100 kilometers per hour is the same time the bus took to travel the, that the distance for, from here to here and that will be x minus 150 and you divide by 60 so if you get uh, x then you will be able to you have uh, ob obtained the the distance the car travel to catch up with the bus so you can multiply here and say this is 60x uh, cross multiply is equals to 100x uh, 100 multiplied by 150 we, we get it is uh, uh, 15,000 so we can take 15,000 to the other side uh, 60x to the right hand side so you have 100x minus 60 uh, x is equals to 1,500 uh, that is 15,000 so here we will get 40x is equals to 15,000 uh, divide both sides by 40 divide by 40 here yeah, you can apply your calculator you will be able to get the value of x is 375 that is kilometer so that is the distance uh, the car travel to catch up with the bus now that is a uh, this is actually Roman number two uh, so we go now to part uh, we go to part B of the question and see what is required so we are told immediately the car caught up with the bus uh, the car stopped for 25 minutes find the new average speed at which the car traveled in order to reach Nairobi at the same time as a bus. Now, we need to know uh, how do we get, we are looking for speed. And speed is equal to distance over time. So, what we need here uh, is uh, from 500 <coughs> and uh, the distance remaining is 500, you minus 375. So the distance remaining is uh, 5 to uh, 1, 125 kilometers. So it means the distance the bus covered uh, is uh, 125 kilometers to Nairobi. So we can get the, we can get the time it took, uh, which is uh, now we get it is distance, uh, uh, distance which is 125, let's correct that, 125, the distance remaining divide by speed which is 60 when you divide that you can use your calculator you get this is two hours and uh, five minutes five minutes because 120 you, you are left with five which you can be able to to write uh, now we say so it also uh, since the caster uh, took 25 i uh, stopped for two, two, uh, uh, 25 minutes so you can see two hours let's write it like that you subtract 25 minutes so you get this is zero four and this is one so it means the car to time the car took to travel from that place to nairobi is a uh, uh, one hour one hour 40 minutes which you can write it is 140 over 60 which is hours which is equals to uh one hour when you divide that will give you two that hours so so now we have time and we have speed uh we'll be able to get since uh, we have time and speed uh what we then we can we have time and distance we can get the speed speed is equals to our uh, distance over time which we have the distance remaining is 125 you divide by time uh, and that will be 1 and 2 over 3 uh, which you can say it is uh, 125 uh, you, you write this in proper form you get it is uh, uh, 5 over 3 so it is 3 over 5 you can simplify here you get 25 this is 25 
So you get it is 75 kilometers per hour. So that is the new speed of the of the car uh, so that it arrives the same time uh, that the bus arrived in Nairobi. So that is how you work out that question. And if you work out uh, the way I have shown you, then you have scored 10 marks. Uh, and I hope you have followed that. Uh, now, there is uh, an, uh, something I have written here. Uh, I don't know, we, you are wondering what is it all about. Uh, this is uh, www.mymnango.com. Now, from now, I want to explain to you what is all this about. So let's have a look at that. Let me tell you uh, a little bit of myself. So my name is Zakri Kamanga, popularly known as Teacher Amtani. I want to thank you for your support and I want to let you know that this year we are going, we are doing things a little different to achieve the best. Uh, so that is why we have mymlango.com. Uh, so this year, in addition to mathematics, I'll be doing chemistry and physics videos as well. Uh, so starting this January, all the content will now be exclusively available on www.mymlango.com in an organized way. In an organized way, I mean you'll be able to see all the videos I have uh, done uh, in uh, one place and you, you move from one video to the other uh, very easily. So that's what I mean by uh, one place. And all the other videos that I'm going to produce, uh, we have now a place where we can have them organized. So together with the videos, I'll be conducting online classes where we have one-on-one -on -one learning and revision. At the same time, I'll be holding consultation with my followers all the time in the areas you experience difficulties, uh, get predictions of what to expect. Uh, so join me and you like it a lot. So mymlango.com. Uh, so below this video, you can see the link of this. You just click that link and it will take you to where you can join uh, me. Mymlango is a digital learning platform for both primary and secondary learners. And I look forward to your continued support. Please click on the link below uh, this video to continue enjoying my learning videos. So below here, that is the description of the vi of this video. You will see this link that I have here. So you click that and you will be able to join uh, the platform. So thank you and I expect that you will meet all the time. Uh, for those who are doing the case. KCSE, KCPE, and uh, those who are continuing the, in other classes.